just before the lunch uh, we successfully created uh, our first view so that is very nice actually uh, yeah so the flow was uh, yeah in views we created a view uh, named books and we simply returned uh, a simple uh, http response uh, basically it will be a web page so we all know we can also write uh, html in it okay and uh, this should also work okay uh, so a list of just uh, changing it so we understand we have changed it and if i save it okay and then come back to the terminal i need to obviously run the server uh in development we always keep the server running at the back end that is also one way so every time we don't need to run it but since we are uh, learning it uh, we are every time running the server and then proceeding so if i go here if i see list of my books h1 is also applied html so basically uh, what i what we can do is we can write the html over here but again uh, in the presentation i told you all ki uh, django provides you with the uh, segregation of all your views model and template so it is definitely not a good practice to write your html over here so we will be creating a separate uh template html template and we'll call it over here so this is our next task to create an html template and i am sure you all will like it because everyone is quite comfortable with html all right uh, so let's come back i'll uh, up my server okay and now okay before that i let me check chat all good okay all right nothing much related to this so fine so what we'll do uh, where am i i am in my project directory i'll go in my app directory so where is what is my app library manager so cd everyone cd uh, in this library manager get into the library manager obviously you will see your views models and everything <clears throat> Yes, can I get a response? Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay, here we are going to make uh, a couple of directories. So the command I'll use to make directories: m i m k d i r, make directory, space uh, hyphen p. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what is this hyphen p. Uh, templates backslash Uh, the project name. Okay, library underscore manager. So make the uh, mkdir space hyphen p templates backslash library. So in your uh, app folder, that is library manager. Everyone in their app folder, library manager. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Over there, we have to create uh, some directories. So I'm using mkdir hyphen p space templates slash library manager. Okay, so this you have to execute this command. Press enter. Uh, did you hear me? Uh, what I said related to the hyphen p? No, sir. Sir. Oh. No, sir. Okay. okay so basically a hyphen p option will create uh, the parent directory also because templates is not present in your app na library manager it will create this then it will create this uh, folder also again uh, using command uh, is not uh, necessary you can go to your project uh, app library manager explorer windows explorer any okay and uh, you can there create a new folder named templates and inside templates you can create one more folder library manager it uh, that is also the option this is faster so command is always faster so we should always try to use sir agar hum direct banayenge to bhi parent folder hi banayega to bhi 
वही हाँ नाम सिर्फ सेम रखो बस दैट इज द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग यू मे क्रिएट इट फ्रॉम द एक्सप्लोर ऑल्सो डिरेक्टली नॉट एन इश्यू ओके सो वंस यू हैव एग्जीक्यूटेड दिस कमांड एंड इफ यू डू डी आई आर यू विल सी अ टेम्पलेट्स डिरेक्टली इन योर एप लाइब्रेरी मैनेजर एवरी वन कैन सी टेम्पलेट्स डी आई आर आई एम टू डिरेक्टली इन योर एप यस Yes. Okay. Well, no errors, no issues. This time, let us great news. Let me check. Okay. All right. I think it's not great. This is showing in. No, I think uh, maybe uh, you are. This is not uh, recognized. As, you don't. You have to do CD. No, don't have to. This is not a command. This is a directory, no? Kalpa, Kalpa Shri. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll come back. Okay, so all uh, can see uh, templates. Then what you can do is you can uh, go inside the templates. What you will see is magic happened, uh, and you do dir. You will see library manager created folder inside it. This is inside your uh, templates. Okay. so the command created two folders one is templates we inside the templates library manager okay we'll go inside this library manager okay and over here we'll create html so notepad dot exe books dot html this uh, template will use for a uh, views that is the books view that we have created so i'll press enter okay uh, yeah it will say cannot find book so do you want to create a new file yes i want to create a new file everyone can reach this point uh, once they reach let me know so i am inside uh, the live uh, templates library you can see my path uh, so basically we have to go uh, to uh, template library manager then after create uh, yeah uh, in templates you have uh, created one more library manager over there yeah mausam uh, uh, you need to check your path uh, there is no library manager it is saying no? you need to do dir there will be library management or inside that there will be library manager one kindly check it properly okay uh, let's come back um so yeah so every uh, majority of you all got uh, to this point uh, Rathamesh, can you paste that path in the chat? Uh, I'm pretty sure that there will be a lot okay. of confusion. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, we'll see. Should work. Let's see. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, this is the path. When you enter your My Django project, there is your library management, which is your project that you have created. Then there is the app library manager. Inside the app, you are creating. templates and then uh, one more folder library manager mm awesome ji you have to uh, get into your project that is mentioned over here okay so i have posted it uh, yeah anyone who reach this point where they can open create a books.html done yes sir yes okay so i'm proceeding uh, can some can you guys uh, like hmm sir command for linux for linux also uh, okay for linux notepad won't bug uh, if you use uh, any text editor you can open like uh, there is a vim or vi uh, notepad will not be there in linux Uh, MKDIR like, will work in Apple. Like touch touch books dot html. Ha uh, touch uh, will create it, but uh, you need to edit it, na. No? So you will uh, have to open it somewhere, right? Okay. Touch just uh, create होगा ना books dot html, right? Okay. Sir. Uh, you need to open it in the editor. You can go to the explorer, double click. As long as uh, 
you can even open your file explorer and create the folders one by one as long as you keep the same order of folder okay, yeah. it is fine yeah the okay. order is the important thing because django looks for templates by default we don't need to mention it to django it will look in your apps for this folder templates so it automatically will uh, get your templates so that is why this structure we are following along with the order the names have to be same as well the names can be changed uh names also uh, templates name is also uh, keep it templates only you you shouldn't change in library manager we can change it uh, definitely not compulsory uh, but we are keeping it same as the app name okay. uh, just to keep it in same so that's the only thing yeah because uh, uh, sometimes uh, we need to modify the admin app uh, which has its own templates so over here in templates i can create one more folder admin and i can have i can override the templates admin template the design So that is why we always uh, tend to give the app name inside the templates. One more folder. So these all these templates belong to this particular app. That is uh, the intention. So not compulsion, but uh, that is how we segregate. Yeah. Looks like that cannot be open, sir. Uh, yeah, you create it. It cannot be open. So create a new one. Message message will be there. Click click on it. Yes. Okay, so I have uh, books. dot html. I am sure majority of you all are very comfortable, like extremely comfortable with uh, html. So I'll just write html. This is uh, free. Okay, like you can do whatever you want. You can do over here. It's not like exactly what I do because whatever you do, it will be uh, displayed on the uh, web page. So it is. So. But for now, I guess if you follow along, it will be better. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> yeah, and it is right here. Uh, so list of uh, books. Okay, uh, I'll just uh, write one. Maybe math. the mathematics so like this something i have uh, written this is just to give you an idea how templates uh, how we separate out templates how we link it to the views that is the basic idea uh, so once you create it save it this should not be uh, exactly what i write but uh, yeah you may follow it this is just an html template that will be displayed uh let me know yes no once okay you are done yes sir so it's not clear actually i guess i have indentation error or something like nkdir then do we have space and then hyphen p yeah yeah space yeah ankit has written oh yeah and nkdir space hyphen p it's a uh, yeah ankit has written the command in the chat yeah Yeah, create. Uh, Vishnu, we have to create. It is not already present, so we need to create books. dot html. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Yeah. Ankit has given. Great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The recording and all. Okay. This question can be asked at the end. I think not during the session. It is actually breaking the link uh, right now. Okay. So. Okay. Everyone. Uh, Okay, I'll wait for a minute, uh, and I guess then please let me know if you have finished. Yeah. Uh, sir, not done uh, HTML for long time. What does BR stand for? Uh, a new line. You have to break uh, like so get to a new line. It will yeah simply uh, give you a new line. So you need not have a closing tag for that. Sorry, we did not have what? Uh, there was no closing tag of BR over here, na? Yeah, it's a uh, individual tag. Okay. Uh, yeah. So there is no closing for PR. Yeah. There are a few tags which have no closing tags. Like even uh, input, yeah, uh, it's. Uh, it uh, saying something else. Yeah. So back here, you need to create books. dot html file and write this code in that. You need to create an HTML. Done. Okay. 
done sir all right okay uh, let's move ahead even uh, you can do manually or you, you can use notepad.exe space uh, books.html it will create for you if it is not existing yeah creating file uh, you can do it manually you can do using command creating folders it's your choice that is fine okay so yeah let's move ahead yeah yes okay yeah we got yes a uh, few more of you all uh, can respond yes sir yeah right okay, great okay so yeah we have the html now we need to just tell a views that use this template html template so now we are going to use the already provided django shortcuts this was already there render so render okay will basically uh, create your take your html okay and it will just give the response so now we are going to change this command instead of this okay we'll be using render okay uh, the purpose of showing http response is that you get an idea what exactly how the flow is what is happening okay but render uh, is the shortcut we always take the long cut before we study the shortcut or we find the shortcut so that was the purpose so now render uh, will pass there are three arguments that will pass the number one is the request object itself to give information about the request and accordingly process the response second we need to give a template name so hamara template kya tha wo okay that name we need to give it over here so in uh, quotes where a template is located where sorry library manager slash uh what was the name books dot html this was this is a template name so we need to get we are passing library manager uh, also path because in templates uh, we have created one more folder that is library manager okay so that is why we need to give this information so what django does is uh, when it the views uh, basically this view is rendering uh, am i audible one second yeah all are there come back yeah so what happens is when we uh, when this view is called okay basically it will process your request okay and whatever logic you have written over here then it will call this uh, template books.html but why it is uh, it comes to know that your template is over here because you have created one folder if you remember inside of app templates so by default it looks inside the templates okay even if you look at settings uh, there is okay you can change the path uh, in settings i have settings open yeah i have okay if you look at settings we can also okay play with the templates we can mention the directories and here it is app directory true means it will by default look into your app directory templates folder so we don't have to worry that is why the name is so important templates and this whatever name you give you have to mention over here in books.html and last thing is if you want to pass any information to your template because you need to uh, keep your templates dynamic na right now i have created a static html if i want to create it uh, dynamic every time okay so for example someone uh, logs in so it should say hi uh, rahul uh, hi john like that it should not always say hi user hi user to everyone it's a static thing so to make it dynamic we need to pass some information in the form of dictionary we'll keep it empty right now okay nothing i am passing we'll see that uh, later first let's understand this so kindly change your code to this okay thank so it is the same view file which we uh, did before lunch session same same yeah and you need to save it same thing it is okay सर हमें फिर जो सेकंड लाइन है उसकी रिक्वायरमेंट भी नहीं रहेगी ना या या द लास्ट लाइन दैट यू हैव रिटर्न ना एचटीपी रिस्पांस इन प्लेस ऑफ दैट यू हैव टू यूज नाउ विल यूज द शॉर्टकट रेंडर फंक्शन द सेकंड लाइन इन दिस फाइल सेकंड लाइन 
uh, which we are importing HTTP response. If we mm-hmm. need to that line still ma. Hey, the the uh, import you can HTTP response you can delete it. We are not using it, but uh, it's fine. We can do that later. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that is uh, if you can. If you're not using, we can remove it. But uh, if it is there, no harm. Okay. Okay, sir. For now, yeah. Ah, uh, sir, is there any indentation uh, while writing the path name, uh, the single quotation or quotation? Mm, no, uh, you uh, for Python only this, na. Uh, after the function whatever the body you need to put in indentation otherwise uh, this is uh, not much any i put space because it looks good no so if yeah. you don't put it fine yeah just okay okay uh, done yes sir yes sir okay wow yes, Nee, uh, template is not. Uh, oh, it's not there. CD space template should be present. So, so why you need to create it then if it is not present? Check DIR. Uh, now you must be familiar with it. Checking whether it is there, not there. Create it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Others. Uh, how is it uh, done with this views? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So this is so far. I did make dir space hyphen p slash template slash uh, library manager. I did dir then. It is not showing. It is showing admin dot py apps dot py migrations models dot py. It is not showing templates. Hmm. Oh, uh, you did it in uh, library manager itself, right? Uh, yes, sir. In li- within uh, library manager itself, I did mkdir hyphen p. Uh, mkdi space hyphen p yes, space yeah, templates yes, slash uh, library manager correct yes sir yes sir and it did not show any error it executed well correct yes sir, yes, sir. it did not show any error so and if you do dir you don't see templates no sir it is not visible mm. uh, uh, you, Pratamik, i had added a, i had added a slash before it is that allowed templates ke pehle slash chalta hai kya uh yeah don't i have no node slash uh, simple templates no backslash oh i have put mkdir hyphen p then slash templates i have put yeah, 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 no, no slash remove that slash and it will work it may have created at some other location your home yeah that no slash at before templates uh, my mistake are, sorry uh templates Uh, it is showing slash. a subdirectory or file hyphen p already exists. Uh, sub the hyphen p. Sir, so this is the same issue with mine also. Mm. Start between the directories and uh, uh, can you open? Can you open it in your Windows Explorer? Just delete any extra directories that you can find. And create one manually. Just right-click new folder, go inside, right-click new folder. That also works. You don't have hmm. to do it through command line only. So uh, what I'll do is I'll proceed ahead. I'm about to just complete with this. Uh, so maybe uh, we'll have a short, uh, maybe five ten minutes break before the next uh, session, in which uh, I'll just uh, rectify any doubts. Okay. So because I think majority have uh, you all have completed this thing, correct? Yeah. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah. Next, what we need to do is we need to run server. Be careful uh, when you try to run server. You should be back to your okay uh, main directory where your Python dot uh, Python manage dot py is there. Okay, so I am now in library underscore management. If you want to move back, you know the command now: cd space uh, double dot. Okay, and uh, yeah. So once you are there, uh, let me and uh, run the command. Python. It will be there. Yeah, Python space manage dot py run server. Yeah, it is running. And uh, once you are done, you can shift to your web browser and just reload it, and you will see the change. So it has taken your template. It has rendered your template. So that is so nice. We can segregate our templates. Uh, logic and then the models, the database will be separated as models dot py, which will 
shortly see how it happens. So all of you, okay, can follow this. No, sir. Error. Um, who uh, Pooja is? Is this Pooja yeah. who got error? Yes. What error? The oh, Suraj got it. Nice. Okay. Yeah, Pooja, what error you got? Template does not uh, exist at books. Uh, there is no templates at books. So maybe you have given some wrong path in views. Check uh, whether this is proper. In um, my case, uh, the same old list of books is coming. Mathematics is not coming. Um, so maybe uh, I hope you have edited the right file. Uh, or maybe I'll just. Uh, yeah, I means uh, check through command uh, like. Command from notepad.exe maybe. Yeah, last time I think we, we had a different file. No? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can check that. Yeah. Yeah, in the parent directory there will be managed dot yeah, in library management, the main folder. There will be managed dot Okay. The same view file may he change kiya hai. Um uh, library underscore manager. Slash books dot html. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can you uh, quickly share your screen? I'll stop mine uh, because I think this output is the important thing. Once you get this, uh, I think uh, quite a thing you have understood. Then. Okay. Uh, I think uh, the slash should be backslash. Oh, no, front is fine. Yeah, fine. It is fine. It is fine. It is fine. Okay. Uh, can you go to your terminal? Uh, yes, sir. It's visible, sir. Yeah, now it's visible. Uh, yeah, can you do Control C and just uh, stop the server? Mm. Okay. Yeah, can you do DIR? Okay. Yeah, then uh, CD library manager. Go to library manager. Uh, don't press enter, okay? Yeah, small I. Yeah, okay, fine. Now that allowed the company. Manager, manager, one more time. Okay. Hey, no, 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 no. CD space dot dot. You pressed enter. I said not to price dot dot. Okay, okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, uh, see, uh, now CD space. The app name library manager. Okay, uh, backslash. Ah, okay. Again, you press enter. Fine. Oh, yes, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Not a problem. Now, no, no, no. Now clear this uh, CD space. Oh, do DIR over here first. Let's check what is in this. Clean. Uh, just go back. Delete this, yeah. Yeah, DIR. So, templates is there. Can you do uh, CD templates? Check what is in templates. Yeah, do DIR. Yeah, very nice. Okay, you have library underscore manager. Yeah, can you do uh, CD in that library manager? Yeah. Tab will help you. Okay. Uh, can you do DIR? Okay. You have books.html. So, yeah, your path is absolutely fine. Mm, not an issue. Yeah. Can you show once again the views? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. What about the others? Uh, did they? Uh, sir, my get... get error, attribute error. Okay. There is a space, I think, between the code, single code library. Yeah. Check that uh, at the start. Uh, Besides, no, no, no. Remove it. Rem no, 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 no. Backspace. Backspace bar. Backspace press. Karo ek bar. Isa kar diya ye to. Okay. Haan, save. Karo. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay, uh, yeah, anyone else? No one? 
uh, someone was saying right now yes sir sir my also getting attribute error uh, yeah can you share screen quickly mm. this is yeah. uh, can you show views can yes, you show sir. views okay mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, this is this is fine. Uh, this is happening right now after changing this, or it was there since. Yes, sir. This is happening now. Okay. Yeah, you have not put render. So return uh, then the render. Yeah, you need to use the render function. Yeah. That's... Before uh, parenthesis. It's a name, no? Sir, I'm not getting. Okay, I'll I'll uh, send you on the chat. So the meaning of random render function is to get the content and style from a particular file. Yeah, yeah. So render basically will uh, uh, take all the things like uh, it will obviously create a HTTP response for you, and it will uh, okay uh, also gather your HTML template. And if uh, one more thing i'll show you right now uh, what uh, one uh, additional thing the dynamic thing that we can do and uh, it basically uh, renders the html template that you create so that is why uh, we have this render so this is fine okay sir return return it no uh, oh you, at the start return return i didn't write okay because i thought yeah return render return space render space render yeah is it okay yeah remove the space of yeah parenthesis or render ke beech mein jo space hai nikalo yeah now this will work well okay anyone else all done okay so uh, yeah you can uh, stop the screen share i'll share mine so all uh, like got the output list of books oh, mathematics i only got uh, list of books list of books mathematics mathematics yeah it should basically be your html what you have written so yash yashvini didn't yes, get it sir. right yes sir i didn't get it uh, who okay who is uh, pankaj got it right uh, pankaj can stop yeah uh yeah you uh, you can share your screen yeah, yes. i'm sharing your screen <laughs> so still on template mm -hmm. uh, yeah can you show uh, your bra web browser okay you are getting list of books uh, okay can you show views.py can you stop the server and the control c and notepad uh, over there you can open it uh, you can uh, close this for now we'll, uh, yeah close close not minimize yeah from here you open uh, the views dot py notepad dot exe yeah no 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 wait wait yeah okay fine fine notepad dot exe you can type it uh, for now Yes, yeah, space uh, library manager. No, no, it's inside the app. No, mm, yeah. Backslash and views. Yeah, that be it. That's it, sir. Dot py. Tap, tap. Do tap to auto complete. It will help you. Yeah, enter. Yeah, see, you have not uh, modified your code, na? So how will it work? It will not work. Oh. Modifying the uh, different file. So be careful. Check the uh, yeah directory path and all. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, so fine. Uh, everyone. Uh, I think. Uh, most of you all got it right uh, you can uh, stop your screen share yashwini okay 
so yeah can you can i get a response like uh, uh, yes yes sir done sir right done sir yeah why uh, what is this uh, okay mos okay done what is happening no 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 see uh, you had created first i previously i checked it was management one now it's management so that's slightly path issue uh-huh. okay we'll we'll check it later uh, one second i'll just uh, yeah so what is the issue yeah can you say what uh, can you say uh, like they are saying that p file like this template file already exists so i'm unable to create a template and restore the things we have some bunch here so check dir you check what yeah. is inside it yeah So template is already there, so it will obviously give you that message, isn't no? it? It's mm-hmm. already there, so it will not create again. You know? So that so, is why. So you already have this, yeah. So can I start with this notepad or something? Yeah, you should have. So what? What? Uh, you have to. Yeah. What uh, means? What exactly now you'll be doing? I'll be adding the HTML code. Uh, view wala thing in this mm, so okay, that okay. all right all right you can return over there yeah yeah, yeah. that uh, that you can uh, i'll i'll share the code uh, i'll okay. just uh, wrap it up uh, with uh, okay, few so things yeah, yeah you yeah. can then we can see you're not an issue okay. because i think a uh, majority of you all have finished it uh, correct uh, yeah yes sir yes sir yeah yeah so okay one last thing uh, is uh, i think uh, you can see my screen yes sir yes yeah yes, sir. so now i was talking about uh, the dynamic thing like uh, right now i have uh, the static thing so what i can do is i can uh, define a dictionary okay uh, basically i can give any name and i'll call it context or even if i directly pass dictionary over here it is fine so what i'm doing see everyone knows how to create a dictionary in python right so i'll call book 1 i'll call it math then i'll uh, have book 2 okay one second i'll just here yeah. uh book 2 uh, i'll call it maybe uh python all right uh we'll save this so basically now i'm passing uh, some information a dictionary uh obviously uh to use it in my uh, html template let's come back now how uh, do i uh, use that is uh, we use a templating language uh, i mean to say engine that is jinja template uh, templating engine so i hope uh, most of you are familiar with it if not then uh, for now i'll just give you a simple thing so what uh, if i want to show a variable from the dictionary i want to print it on my html so i use uh, two curly brackets uh the start and the closed inside this i'll just pass the dictionary uh okay that i have created obviously uh the name so i have book 1 if i uh, if i type this book 1 it will automatically uh, okay take this value math okay so okay everyone knows a dictionary right it has key and value pairing right so book 1 uh, has the value math book to python so if i want uh, this to be displayed okay i'll again uh, use curly brackets and i'll pass now i'll print book to so book to is what uh, obviously python so this is how we okay dynamically uh, okay uh, render the html page this is just a start uh, obviously uh, you will have uh, to go through various okay like uh, 
a lot of things are present in it so we'll see that okay so now save it uh, and you can save this also and go back uh, to the run server it will automatically get updated and uh, i'll show the steps again don't uh, don't worry and if i okay i'll see uh, okay math and python so it's uh, it's getting okay uh, uh, what do you say rendered properly so basically what is the intention over here is if i uh, have a database query i get the books and i pass that okay to this html so every time the data will be dynamic it won't be static that initially we created so this is uh, okay how okay we can basically have a dynamic rendering of a uh, html page so yeah so this is a view so uh, can uh, you instead of okay passing empty dictionary uh, you can pass this simple okay uh, create a dictionary you can create the way you want not necessary what i have written but see to it it is the dictionary you have a proper key okay which because the key you have to okay pass it in your html but in this okay two curly brackets okay so you are done uh, okay i'll switch to the html page template of books.html oh done wow ayush has completed anyone else so done yes, yes sir done yeah and then you can check your uh, web browser it should uh, the web page should get updated yes sir oh, wow, wow i'm yes, quite sir. happy to see many of wow nice nice uh, sir we can uh, use uh, heading tags with dictionary also na yeah 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 you can use uh, in html you can use anything yeah you can give okay. uh, i can give tab uh, tag uh, like uh, whatever i want okay. okay so maybe i can create a list also no an ordered list right uh, so ul i'll create an ordered list so i don't need to write uh, the br so this is just okay who wants to uh, do like html they are oh, why this is like insert in second i think i pressed in insert okay so basically uh, li i think i have pressed one second yeah it's fixed okay so li uh, list item then i don't need br and so uh, html i uh, you are free to do the way you want so there is obviously uh, everywhere uh, you are free to use whatever name you want the dictionary you want to pass it's all uh, okay like our choice this is just for uh, you all to understand how the flow is what exactly is happening so this should also work if i save it uh, the server should track the change it has tracked i guess if not we'll find it in the list it takes the unordered list yeah and, uh, then you can start playing around with it uh, what if i do ordered list and save it and come back and refresh it one two that's fine so many things can happen so html uh, if you are good in html uh, you don't have to worry about the templates you need to only understand uh, the jinja template engine thing that is how this there are many more things to learn a loop right now i am uh, retyping it you also have for loop to create the these tags so those are the things should be focused yeah uh, i need to make one uh, clarification uh, when we were doing some commands on command prompt yeah yes. so i told you uh, to create a directory we have uh, mkdir uh, make directory it will work in both uh, linux and windows uh, and i uh, had this hyphen p option and then uh, some name like maybe templates uh, slash and maybe okay some another directory my 
whatever so uh, i just want to clarify one thing in windows uh, if you don't use uh, hyphen p it is fine it is not required it is only for uh, linux okay where uh, it is necessary to uh, create okay uh, like parent directory as well we need hyphen p in windows it will work okay without hyphen p also in fact if i uh, give hyphen hyphen p it will create hyphen p directory so it will take this also as a directory so if i want to create multiple directories uh, in a given uh, directory i can say a b c and it will create those directories so to give you a demo uh, uh, still since it's a break uh, so mkdir uh, i'll create uh, ddd just i'll delete it later i'll go to that triple d and i'm inside this inside this there is nothing it's empty and if i do mkdir a space b space c space d and uh, press enter i'll get uh, four directories okay and uh, if i do mkdir uh, some okay uh, suppose temp slash Mm, uh, something my okay it will work well and it will show you temp created cd temp and inside temp it will again show me this okay my directory as well so uh, so hyphen p only uh, for linux user not for windows that is the only clarification i wanted to make so yeah uh, fine uh, all right uh, so i hope uh, you understood uh, things related to uh, django web framework virtual environment and uh, the flow of the django basically the mvt model design pattern models views templates models yeah ankit will uh, okay uh, take it uh, but i hope you understood how the views urls are configured and uh, how we Okay, I link it with the template, the template rendering. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I'll hand over to thank Ankit. You, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So thank much patience. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> thank you.